Testimony resumed today in the Wake County Court of the death penalty trial of a man who admits to killing his in-laws and shooting his estranged wife in the face. It happened in Wendell in 2014, and last week, 33-year-old Nate Holden's ex-wife testified of prior abuse and a domestic violence protective order taken out against Holden. Holden's son later described witnessing the crime, saying he was hiding in a closet just feet from his mother when she was shot. CBS North Carolina Steve Sprasia inside the courtroom since opening arguments, and he joins us with more on today's testimony. Testimony, Steve. Well, Sharon, today prosecutors concentrated on forensic evidence. The testimony may not have been dramatic, but it is essential to the case which the state is building against Nate Holden. Much of what the jury saw today could not be broadcast for various reasons. Leading off this morning, a video of Latanya's son and daughter. It was recorded in a deputy's cruiser right after the murders. It was them describing what happened. Because they're juveniles, the judge wouldn't allow that recording to be broadcast. This sketch is more in depth of the backyard, obviously, because that was my main area of focus. On the stand, CCBI evidence tech Aubrey Humphrey also identified shell cases casings found at the crime scene. There's one here, and then there's also a second one kind of buried a little bit underneath the dirt there. She also identified many of the crime scene photos of the victims for the jury. Those photos also could not be shown on television because they're too graphic in nature. Mrs. Taylor, who was found in the master bedroom, was pronounced deceased by EMS. <laughs> CCBI lead investigator Catherine Thompson Louder also testified. She said she examined a wallet left by Nate Holden in the room where he's accused of shooting LaTanya. Did you look inside that wallet? Yes, I did. What did, what did you find once you opened the wallet? Um, there was a driver's license in there that belonged to Nathan Holden as well as various cards. Previously, LaTanya's son Jeremy testified his dad placed the wallet on the dresser after the shooting before leaving the house. That wallet is key to placing Nate Holden at the scene of the crime. Now, prosecutors have told the judge in the case that they anticipate one more day of forensic and medical testimony tomorrow, and, they, and then they anticipate resting their case, and the defense will resume. Reporting live, I'm Steve Sprager, CBS, North Carolina.